We've got some fresh images of 3i Atlas, a third ever interstellar object observed from Earth, currently racing through our solar system. Now, astronomers have captured that moment live. In the great tradition of humanity's quest to conquer the unknown, a new cosmic traveler has arrived. 3i Atlas is beckoning us to witness the cosmic evolution unfolding in real time. As 3i Atlas emerged from the outer darkness in early July 2025, its dust tail was barely a whisper, faint, broad, and pointing away from the sun. That's classic solar radiation pressure at work, pushing dust particles outward into space. Around this time, subtle cometary features began to emerge, including a hazy coma with a tail-like extension. Things were still pretty fuzzy because at that time, the comet was still very far from the Sun, 3.5 times the distance between the Sun and Earth. So when 3i Atlas drew closer to perihelion, the real story began. Fast forward to late August, powerful eyes like the Gemini South Telescope captured a much bigger story. The comet's tail had extended to about 56,000 kilometers, that's roughly 30 arc seconds in angular length, growing longer and clearer as the sun's heat intensified. This tail growth lines up perfectly with a surge in solar heating, which causes the comet's icy surface to sublimate and eject more dust. As we entered September, fresh images revealed the tail expanding rapidly, a sign that 3i Atlas is shedding more particles than ever before as it bathes in solar radiation. This evolving tail is a live show of cometary activity, evolving over weeks and months as it races toward perihelion. Surprisingly, the comet's tail not only expanded dramatically but also with incredible precision. Unlike natural comet tails, which are often messy, twisting, bending, and scattering unpredictably depending on the changing conditions of the solar wind and radiation, 3i Atlas's tail is broad, clean, and sharply defined, instead of random gas streams spewing unpredictably. The tail extends like a smooth exhaust pipe, lengthening in distinct stages, as if it were purposefully self-regulating. What's even more intriguing is that this tail is pointed along a path that will bring the comet very close to Mars. In fact, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb has proposed a fascinating idea. What if this tail isn't just a chaotic result of melting ice but actually functions like a thruster? A controlled exhaust stream pushes the comet along its carefully tuned trajectory. In other words, the tail could be acting more like a propulsion system than just natural comet outgassing. In addition to its dust tail, the comet also displays a striking dust plume that points directly toward the sun. This phenomenon occurs because the sunlit side of the nucleus experiences stronger sublimation of its icy materials. As these ices vaporize, they release streams of dust particles that shoot outward in the sun's direction, creating a brilliant fan-shaped extension of the coma. Sublimation of volatile ices is, in fact, the core engine behind cometary activity, fueling both gas and dust emissions. In theory, this means every comet has the potential to generate such sun-facing plumes, since sunlight consistently lifts particles from the illuminated surface. Yet in reality, only a select few comets, such as 3i Atlas and the distant oddity C-2014 UN-271 Ber Bernardinelli Bernstein, have displayed such prominent, visible plumes aimed sunward. This rarity pushes scientists to rethink certain aspects of cometary physics, hinting that the forces driving dust ejection and plume formation may vary widely depending on a comet's makeup, internal structure, and surrounding conditions. So what makes 3i Atlas develop such an unusual feature? A bright dust plume pointing directly toward the sun. We could find the answer in the facing sun dust plume with more material concentrated. By studying this plume, astronomers can deduce the comet's composition and the proportions of its key components. The findings are remarkable. Spectroscopic data from the James Webb Space Telescope 
and other instruments reveal that 3i Atlas is venting about 129 kilograms of carbon dioxide every second, around eight times more than the water vapor it releases. This exceptionally high carbon dioxide to water ratio is almost unheard of in other comets. As a result, the comet produces an immense carbon dioxide plume that extends roughly 350,000 kilometers into space, nearly spanning the distance from Earth to the Moon. Alongside this, smaller amounts of carbon monoxide, water, and trace compounds are also present in the plume. Such a carbon dioxide-rich nucleus suggests that 3i Atlas may have formed near the carbon dioxide ice line in its original protoplanetary disk, or it may have undergone unusual chemical processing during its long solitary journey through interstellar space. Interestingly, the massive jet of carbon dioxide gas from 3i Atlas didn't behave the way scientists expected. In fact, it showed contradictory traits. Based on calculations, the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles from the sun, should have pushed the jet backward, shortening its reach into space. In other words, models predicted that the plume should appear smaller and more compact. Instead, observations revealed the opposite. The jet stretched much farther than expected, growing larger than any of the simulations had suggested. Yet at the same time, the jet turned out to be physically too small and too weak to propel material all the way from the comet to Mars during its flyby. Its power is estimated to be about 100 times too low to make such a transfer possible. This leaves scientists with a puzzle. The jet is too extended to be normal, yet too weak to account for Mars-related effects. This puzzle tells scientists that the comet's jet and the cloud of gas and dust around it called the coma, must be more complicated than we thought. Maybe something else is happening, like magnetic or plasma effects, that make the jet look big, even though it's not powerful. Or maybe the stuff seen near Mars isn't coming directly from the comet's jet at all. Typically, outgassing of this intensity would cause a comet to wobble or drift unpredictably under the force of the jet. But in the case of 3i Atlas, the activity appears remarkably stable, and the comet continues to travel along a well-defined, predictable orbit. This unusual steadiness is part of what makes 3i Atlas such a scientific enigma among active comets. As mentioned earlier, carbon dioxide and water aren't the only components present in 3i Atlas coma. In July 2025, the Very Large Telescope detected emissions of atomic nickel vapor within the coma. The discovery of nickel in the nucleus sheds light on some of the comet's unusual traits, particularly its brightness. What stands out is that nickel vapor was observed at levels higher than in typical solar system comets, and notably it appeared without the usual accompanying iron. This points to unique chemical and physical processes unfolding on or near the comet's surface. Nickel-bearing compounds could be enhancing the comet's brightness by altering how its dust and coma particles interact with light. The coma itself is described as dust-rich and red, meaning it reflects more red light, which influences its overall brightness as seen from Earth. Furthermore, the presence of nickel-based organics or tiny nanophase particles may be boosting sunlight scattering, amplifying the comet's visible glow. The release of nickel vapor in 3i Atlas appears to be driven by temperature-activated or photochemical processes, mechanisms not typically observed in standard comets. This points to a direct link between its unusual chemistry and the changes in its dust, gas emissions, and brightness. As the comet moved closer to the sun, scientists noticed that the outflow of nickel gas didn't simply rise at a steady pace. It accelerated rapidly, like a snowball gaining speed and mass as it rolls downhill. These bursts of nickel emission lined up with periods when the comet grew brighter and when its coma, the glowing cloud around it, shifted in both size and shape. The faster the nickel vented, the more intense the comet's glow became, and the more its coma and tail transformed. 
This strong correlation shows that nickel is a key factor behind 3i Atlas's dynamic brightness variations and its distinctive dusty red-colored coma, setting it apart from the behavior of most solar system comets. The brightness of 3i Atlas makes it especially challenging for scientists to pin down its actual size. Normally, astronomers estimate comet sizes by measuring the brightness of the coma at different distances from the nucleus and then fitting that data to a brightness function. By mathematically subtracting the coma's contribution, they can isolate the nucleus's brightness and use that to calculate its size. But in the case of 3i Atlas, most of the light we see doesn't come from the solid nucleus. It comes from its sprawling coma. This makes the separation process tricky and prone to error. If the coma's brightness isn't carefully removed, the nucleus can look far larger than it really is. In fact, early estimates put the comet's size between 10 and 20 kilometers wide, based solely on brightness. Later, with sharper data from observatories like the Hubble Space Telescope, scientists were able to refine their models and subtract the coma's light more accurately. These improved calculations suggest the nucleus is much smaller, likely under 5.6 kilometers across, and perhaps even as tiny as just a few hundred meters. The mysteries surrounding 3i Atlas continue to push scientists toward deeper observation. On October 29, 2025, the comet will reach perihelion, its closest point to the Sun, at about 1.36 astronomical units, roughly between Earth's and Mars's orbits. This will mark its period of peak brightness and strongest activity. However, it will be hard to observe from Earth at that time because it will lie close to the Sun in the sky, entering solar conjunction. Before that, on October 3, 2025, 3i Atlas will pass within about 30 million kilometers of Mars. This flyby creates a rare opportunity for Mars orbiters, such as ESAs and NASA spacecraft, to study the comet up close, potentially capturing detailed imagery and collecting valuable data on its composition and activity. From July to September 2025, the comet can be spotted after sunset. But as it nears the sun, its visibility from Earth will shrink, limited mainly to equatorial regions. After perihelion, it should reappear in the morning sky in November, gradually fading as it drifts farther from both the sun and Earth. In the meantime, a range of powerful telescopes, including the James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble Space Telescope, Very Large Telescope, Gemini South, and the new Vera C. Rubin Observatory are actively monitoring 3i Atlas. Their studies focus on determining its size, composition, patterns of gas and dust release, and the dynamic transformations in its coma and tail. These ongoing and future observations are expected to uncover more about the chemistry of its nucleus and coma, provide critical tests for theories about interstellar objects, and deepen our understanding of cometary activity, driven by unusual volatile makeups, particularly cases where carbon dioxide dominates over water.